I broke the Tanya Harding story, so that was basically an attempt to fix the Olympics. That's pretty, that's pretty ambitious. Tanya was a very gifted athlete, and I think she was the first one to do like a triple jump in competition. The plot was that basically they were trying to fix the Olympics by injuring Nancy Kerrigan. Tanya, one of her buddies, hit her in the knee with a pipe or something, you know, they injured her. I think they thought that she was going to get a lot of endorsements and things like that and be, a, you know, somebody famous and they could profit from it. I was in Seattle for the birth of my first grandchild. I got a call from the clerk at the city desk. He said, I got a call from a Gary Crow. He said, uh, can you call him back? And so, I, you know, with what I did, I got all kinds of weird calls. So he wrote a memo, you know, put it on my, you know, those little things I used to write. So I came back and I found this thing and I said, ah, okay, I kind of put him down at the bottom of the pile because I still didn't recognize the name. Gary Crow was a private detective. I'd worked with him on a, a software piracy case and he remembered me, thank goodness. He had a, a friend who was a, a minister who was trying to learn to be a paralegal. I know this is, this, is, this is how this thing goes. And he said he had this guy who had confessed to him that he had, you know, basically the attack on Nancy Kerrigan. And uh, I was listening, I said, what, <laughs> you know? <laughs> said, oh, really, no, no wonder I don't believe him. And so he, he told me this whole, just absolutely wild story. He said, and the guy didn't know whether he, uh, it was okay for him to tell about it. He said, he doesn't know if he could talk to me. He said, oh, well, of course he can talk to me. So <laughs> I'm clear, God has cleared me for this. And then we got into all these characters, you know, Shane Stan, Sean Eckhart, the 300 pound bodyguard, you know, Tanya, of course. And I said, you know, th this story is so wild. I said, if we're wrong, we're gonna, it, they're gonna, they're gonna own the newspaper, <laughs> you know? So, cause it's a lot of work, you know, trying to verify this story. And so finally we did, and we went to press and of course it blew up. There were CNN trucks and, you know, it was just insane for weeks. So that's how that happened.